Okay, so this is uh, this is the Intel NUC model DC five three four two seven HYE. Uh, this is one that we use for uh, hooking up three monitors. So if you are getting if this is the NUC that you received, <coughs> I'll show you uh, how this one gets hooked up. Um, so the one thing you'll need to do is on the you'll get a power cable. And then this power adapter, you, you will need to just plug this in. And then this will plug into the uh, surge protector. And then this end here, this will plug in over here for power. So that's how, that's how that gets hooked up. And then you'll have, uh, you'll get two of these uh, mini display port to a normal size display port. So this is uh, uh, this is what the end looks like that's going to go into the uh, into the nook and this is the end that's going to actually go um, this will go into the monitor. It has a slight angle on one of the sides. So I'll show you how that works. Um, and on the display port it is kind of rounded on one side so it's only going to go in one way. So the rounded, the rounded edge will go on the bottom, so that'll plug in just like that. And then this will go, this will go to one of the monitors. And then we'll take our second display port, mini display port, and we'll plug that in. You'll see there's two spots where these can go on the back of the uh, of this nook. So then I'll just put that into the port is right next to it. So that's the that's for two of the monitors. And then your third monitor which is typically going to be a vertical. Um, that one is hooked up using HDMI so that cable looks like this which is um, both these ends are, are ends are the same. These are, this is just a HDMI cable. And that is right on the back here you'll it'll say um, It'll say HDMI, and that plugs in just one way. Okay, so we've got the connections there. Okay, so now I'll show you connecting these cables uh, to the actual monitors. So <clears throat> we'll take one of the white cables that has this mini display port, which goes to a full-size display port here. This will go on the back of the monitor. Um, on the back of the monitor, uh, it actually says DP, just stands for Display Port. Um, if you can see this, it only goes in. <clears throat> this only goes in one way as well. There's a uh, an angle on this, and so let me get. So you plug it in just like that. So that's uh, one of the Display Port connections and then we'll take the second one and so on here too you can see uh, same thing that says DP and this only goes in one way as well okay so there's your connection for the uh, second monitor and, and also, just so you know, the, there's the uh, this is the power connection for the monitors. Okay, and then on the third monitor, which is going to be a vertical. Um, okay, so then we'll take our our last connection, which is the uh, HDMI. So the HDMI connection. Um, from the back of the neck. So on this vertical monitor, um, <clears throat> it'll be labeled, it'll say HDMI in the back. And then this just plugs in only one way as well. And then that's, so that's how you hook up all three of those uh, connections. Okay, so now we got all the we got the monitors connected. Um, 
Last all we need to do is um, the keyboard that you have that will plug right in to the back of the neck. There's a USB um, connection back here. And then there should already be a, uh, a USB um, connector that's already plugged into the, US, to the other USB back here for your wireless mouse. Um, then you'll just take your wireless mouse, um, turn the on switch here, and then a blue light will come on. And um, so then that's ready to go. One other connection is then your um, network cable. And so this uh, network cable right here, this plugs in right next to where it says HDMI. It's the last open port. And there's your, uh, there's your network connection right there. And then before you turn on the Nook, go ahead and um, power on the monitors. There's a the power switches on the uh, lower right hand corner. When you push that on, you'll see uh, a blue light should um, turn on. And on the vertical monitors, the button's right in the same area as well. Okay, once, uh, once you got the monitors turned on, and then just like the other nooks, uh, the power button's right on the top here. So if you have this facing towards you, the, it's right here in the lower left-hand corner. Just push that power button, it should light up blue. And then once the computer starts, um, one of the screens will come up. Um, go ahead and log into it. And as soon as this gets fully logged on, um, the other two monitors should then come up as well. And then one thing to note um, on the vertical monitor, if it does not come up automatically, you may need to press uh, the button that's right above the power button. This is uh, right here. And what that will do is that'll cycle through to see what kind of uh, video connection it is. So it'll be this button right here. After you press the button that's right above the power button, you just you'll press this, and then you up in the monitor it'll say VGA. You keep pressing this until it goes through the different um, connections. Um, so VGA, I, I keep clicking it, it says DVI, and then wait until you see it says HDMI. Um, and then that monitor will then come up. Um, and then after that, um, uh, just get a hold of us in IT and we'll help get your the settings set for your vertical, um, so your vertical monitor is uh, displaying correctly.